Welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining in. As we can see, the price of Bitcoin has unfortunately broken one of the most important support line which we had around 29,000 range. Yes, 29,000 in the media short term was one very important line of support. And since the price is already below it, now will this trend continue further here to the downside to us 25,000 range? Because this 25,000, 26,000 is the next area of confluence in a bigger time frame. And since the price is also lacking momentum, will this scenario finally play out and as you can see i have prepared some very interesting chart which we are going to talk in today's video so first thing first destroy that like button and for those individuals watching the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell thank you very much so now if you look at the price structure after breaking the key line of support around 29,000, the price of bitcoin started showing another reversal to us 28,600 range but this 28,000 right now is considered as another line of support because this exact price range if you look at this carefully this horizontal trend line also acted as one very very important line of resistance in the past price action that's why when we had this retracement this is exactly where we found support so what is this trend flashing us right now if you look at this price structure after breaking this key line of support around 29,000, we got attracted towards this 28,500 range we had this relief rally but this relief rally is very very interesting because this relief rally ended exactly at the previous temporary support line yes guys this horizontal trend line which previously acted as a support rejected the price around 29,000, and now we are showing further weakness in the media short term so if the price of bitcoin range bounds between this 28k 29k and fails to flip the previous temporary range into support i am actually expecting the price after that after some consideration could go even lower why because if we look at this price structure in a bit different way by simply adding this falling trend line according to this falling trend line you can see guys the price of bitcoin has broken one very important support line the line which previously acted as support has already rejected the price and now the price does looks like it is trying one more time to break above this 29,000 range in the media short term so in the media short term if the price fails to continue or fails to break this key line of resistance then please be careful because after some relief rally we could still see another movement here to the downside which could bring the price of bitcoin around 27,800 to 28,000 range why because that is the price objective from this falling trend line yes this falling trend line is clearly pointing us if the price remains below 29,000 range then 27,800 to 28,000 will be looked as our next potential target for bitcoin because we know in a four hour time frame yesterday we even talked about this rising wedge which pointed us weakness in price action of bitcoin why because this exact line which previously acted as one strong line of support rejected the price you can see this is exactly where we came this is exactly where we got rejected and since then we are clearly in a downtrend so if the price of bitcoin continues further here to the downside you know right now it's 28,500 range is holding us but the next area of confluence after that will be around 25,000 range yes this 25,000 will be a very very important line of support but also the line which could be attracting the price as long as we stay below 29,000 in the media short term so that's why guys that's why the price in the media short term needs to flip this resistance needs to flip this horizontal trend line also into proper support to invalidate this bearish scenario because we know remaining below this 29,000 would lead to another retracement right and the next area of conflicts in that case you can see we have a big gap in between so we could see another bigger free fall and that could bring the price between 25,000 26,000 range and even in a weekly time frame we talked about this scenario yesterday we have found out the price has already started to show some exhaustion right exhaustion after reaching the 100 percent fibonacci extension line and not just only that we also got rejection from this falling trend line or the descending channel upper line and now if we are going to see another retracement here to the downside according to this fibonacci extension line 25,000, you can see the 0.618 could be the area where we could be getting attracted before price which is an actual trend duration but we know as long as we remain above 25,000 range 
any sort of a shakeout should not be considered that bearish because we know guys 25,000 is definitely going to be one of the most important line of support for bitcoin and even if we do see any sort of a weakness right price coming to test that key line of support that could also be looked as a retest from this key line which previously acted as one very very important line of resistance also line of support could be retested before deciding the trend duration and if we look at this in a bit different way we could be also forming an inverse head and shoulder and if this pullback does happen price comes back to test this key line of resistance or the neckline from this inverse head and shoulder it would be right considered as a retest from the previous temporary race line before choosing a trend direction so that's why in a bigger time frame this 25,000 line is where we could be getting attracted once the price or if the price fails to find support above 29,000 range and now if we look at this in a bit different way i mean if we look at the reason why the price is holding this key line 28,500 range this exact line i showed you with the previous example was a very important line of resistance this is exactly where we came and started finding support so in the media short term this is also looked as a retest from wyckoff reacting phase and if the price slowly starts gaining momentum and also flip this 29,000, then we could still right continue this uptrend following wyckoff's reaccumulation phase after some retest price again consolidates and starts with this new uptrend just like i shown in an example so in the media short term breaking the 29,000 and flipping that into proper support could still lead to some impulsiveness so we definitely want the price of bitcoin or let's say the bulls to defend this support range and also if you use this cpr indicator so in our case if you look at this price structure you can see very very clearly guys the price of bitcoin it's not just only finding support at the previous temporary race line, but this line is also the first weekly support line. Yes, this CPI line has already failed to hold the price. But what happened with the price action after that? We got attracted towards the first weekly support line. Exactly after reaching the first weekly support line around 28,600. Now we are seeing some sort of a relief rally, small relief rally, but I have been very clear to see an actual movement here to the upside we need the 29,000 to be flipped into proper support but remaining with the 29,000 means there could be another sign of danger because in that case we could be again breaking below the first weekly support line which is around 28,500 28,600 range but we know guys this lower trend line is not just only the previous temporary race line not just only the first weekly support line but if we look at this price structure, I mean, if the price does start showing some bullishness, even breaking the 29K into proper support, in that case, we can still look at this price structure as a right angle broadening wedge or simply say a broadening wedge. A broadening wedge like this is usually considered bullish because in our case, we started showing bullishness. Yes, the lower line here always acted as a strong line of support and each and every time price found support around this lower trend line we had a small relief rally and each and every time this relief rally continued we also got attracted towards the upper trend line so in our case this upper trend line is sitting around 30,000 300 30,000 400 range but for us right now this 30,000 is not so important for us 29,000 right this 29,000 line is very very important because once we flip the previous temporary race line then we know the price is again preparing itself for another movement where we could be getting attracted towards this 30,000, 200, 30,000, 300 range. So these were some of the quick updates that I wanted to share with you in today's video. Guys, what I've decided to do next is not just only create a video like this. I have also decided to create short videos. So if you want to talk about any coins, doesn't this really mean Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, xrp dutch coin do write that in the comment section and i will make a one minute shorts video for you so if you like what you just heard then please describe that like button and for those individuals watching the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell now by saying this i'm signing out my name is anu bye bye